In this tutorial, I will show you how to customize windows and editor types in Blender. So if you hover your mouse in the corner of any window in Blender, you can see the mouse turns into a little crosshair icon. And that will happen for pretty much any corner of each one of these editor types in Blender. So if you click when the crosshair appears, you can then click and drag back into the window. And when you do that, it's going to split the window and then you can just drag this to wherever you want and then place it there. And so now we actually have two 3D viewports. So this could be very useful if you're doing some modeling or some animation or something like that and you want to look at the 3d scene on one view but then over here you want to look at the 3d scene on a different view now right up here on the top left of all of the windows you have this editor type option all of these windows have an editor type option so this one is the 3d viewport this one here is the properties and then this one here is the outliner so blender is very customizable and you can change any of these editor types so maybe I'm doing some animation and I want this to be the 3d viewport but then I want this to be the graph editor I could just click Click right here to change the editor type and then I could just change it to the graph editor or maybe you want to use blender shader nodes you could click right here to change the editor type under general I could change this to the shader editor to edit the material of this object and then if you want to resize any editor type, if you move your mouse right here in between, you can see there's going to be two little arrows and I can just click and drag over so I could like make this really small. Also, if I'm doing animation, I could make this a lot bigger or I could change the size right here. I could change the size of the properties panel. And if I had a bunch of objects and I wanted to preview them all, I could drag this down here and then open this up to see all the objects. So Blender is very, very customizable. And it's one thing I really love about Blender. Now, as well, as splitting a window back and forth you can also split the window up and down so I brought this window out this way but if I want to split the window down again you can hover your mouse over the corner here you can click and then you can drag down and you can see it's going to split that or you can click and drag sideways if you want to split it horizontal now you might be wondering how to close a window because you can see we have a bunch of windows here and I really only want one 3d space so how you close the window is you're going to go up here to the corner and you can see the crosshair appears again but instead of clicking and dragging back into the window I'm gonna click and then drag the opposite direction and when I do this you can see that my mouse turns into a little arrow and I can drag this way or I can drag this way and it's gonna make that window darker so then when I let go whichever window was darker that window is gonna be closed so I could click down here when the crosshair appears and then push over and then let go and so you can see it closed that and then we actually have the shader editor right here and then I could click and then drag over and then let go and then I want to collapse these so there's just one 3d viewport so I'll just do it right here so I can click drag down and then I can choose which one I want to get rid of push this down and then let go and that'll close it now there also is another way to do this if you move your mouse into the corner of a window right when those two arrows appear you can right click and this is going to bring up some options so the first options here are the vertical split and the horizontal split and these are going to do just what we did before so I could click vertical split and then a line is going to appear you can just drag wherever you want it to split and then click to place that there and then of course you could click right up here and change the editor type I could also move my mouse back over here and right click and then I could choose horizontal split and it's going to do the same thing but the line is going to be horizontal and I could drag right there and then just place it there or if I want to collapse these together I can move my mouse right here when those two arrows appear and then right click again and then I can click on join areas and then it's going to do the same thing as before so I can move my mouse to whichever one I want to close and then click and then that's going to close it and then right here hover your mouse in between the two windows and I can right click again and the other one that we have is swap areas so just to show you what this is going to do I'm going to change the editor type so I'm going to click right here and I'll just change this to the shader editor but if you want to flip it it's really easy just to right click here in the center and click on swap areas and it's as simple as that it's just going to swap those two areas so as you can see, Blender has many options to create your own custom workspaces. Blender also has its own workspaces right up here. So there's different workspaces in Blender that you can change, and it's going to set up a workspace for you. So the default one is layout. That's the one that you start in. But you could also click over here on modeling. And when you click over on modeling, it's going to take you into edit mode of the object. We also have sculpting. So if you click on sculpting, it's going to bring up some sculpting options here. It's going to bring up this side panel here. 
and it's gonna put you into sculpt mode of the object. And there's a bunch of other ones like UV editing, so you can see the UV editing of the object, and texture painting, and then shading, and rendering and compositing. Now you can customize any of these workspaces, so whichever one you're in, you can just drag down and you can split windows, and you can change them to whatever you want. But you can also create your own new workspaces. So if you're doing something very specific and you want some specific editor types, then you can click on the plus right here to create a new workspace. Now they have a bunch of different presets for you like video editing and VFX and sculpting and a bunch more presets. So you could try some of these out, but if you want to create your own custom one, you could just go to general and add a new layout and then you can see it's going to add the layout right there. Now if you want to rename your workspace, you can double click on it and then that's going to rename it and I can just rename this for instance like animation and now we have an animation layout. And then if you want to move where this tab is placed, then hover your mouse over the tab and you can right click and then you can click reorder to front or reorder to back. Or you can also duplicate it if you want to duplicate the workspace or you could also click right here to delete it. So if I wanted to bring the animation workspace to the front, I could click on reorder to front and now it's going to be right over here. And then of course you can customize this workspace so I could click and drag to split the window. I could click right here and change this to like the graph editor and I'm not really going to use the outliner for animation so I could just click right here and then drag up and then let go to close the outliner. And you can just continue to customize this workspace for whatever you're doing. Now something that's important to know is that if you close Blender, Blender's not going to save your layout unless you've saved that Blender file. But if you open up a new Blender file, Blender's not going to save your preferences. So if you want to save your preferences, then you can just set up the Blender file to however you want. So you can add different workspaces, you can bring up the editor types and split up the windows, and just set up Blender for however you want it to be on the startup. So once you've set up Blender how you want it to start on the startup, you can click here on File, and then you can go to Defaults, and you can click on Save Startup File. And then once you click on Save Startup File, whenever you open up a new Blender file, these preferences are going to come up. So you're going to have your custom workspaces and the editor types and windows that you've created. You can also click on File and go to Defaults, and you can click on Load Factory Settings, and that's going to take you back to Blender's default settings if you wanted to do that. So that's it for this video, so I hope you found this helpful, and thank you for watching.